Hey, and welcome to uh, this tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to make a radio. So the first thing we're going to do is going to make a new folder in our Blueprints folder and call it Radio. And we're going to go into that. We're going to right-click, go to Blueprint, and uh, make a new Blueprint interface. And call this Radio Interface. Go inside this interface, and we'll just drag this over here. And we're going to add a new uh, function. I'm going to call this function Toggle Radio compile that, save, close that, and then we're going to add another new blueprint, and we're going to make this an actor, and we'll call this BP radio, for the radio, we'll go in there, and uh, we'll just add a cube, and uh, I'll just resize this real quick, so that'll be our radio. Now we're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna go to the event graph and right-click and do uh, toggle radio. <coughs> oh, sorry. Delete that. Event toggle radio. Oh, right. We have to add the interface. The so go to class settings. Go to interfaces on the right. Add and go to radio interface. Compile that. Save. Now we can do event toggle radio. There we go. And then we're going to do a flip flop. Compile, save. And uh, then we're going to do spawn sound at location. And the location will just get actor location. And the sound, um, sure, the f weapon fire is fine. We'll set that to a variable. Name that um, sound playing. And then for B, we'll get that. We'll do stop. <coughs> now it's an instant sound, but uh, if it was a song playing, you'd want to stop it. So that's how you do that. Uh, okay, so that's all we need for the radio. Um, now we're going to have to set up our pawn. So we're going to go to our first person. Where is it? Blueprints, first person character. Right. So we're going to set up interaction here. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a new function and we're going to call it interact. Compile that, save. Go back to our event graph and right click and hit F or E or whatever key you want to toggle your radio. And uh, off that, off press, do interact. So when we press F, it's going to do our interact trace. So now when we call interact, we're going to do a line trace by channel. And for the start, we're going to do get player camera manager, get its actor location, and we'll set that to the start. And then off the player camera manager for the end, we're going to do get forward vector, and we're going to multiply that by, um, we'll set it to 1000 for now. And then we'll do get actor location plus vector plus vector, and we'll connect that to the uh, vector plus float, and we'll set that to the end. Compile that and save. And then, um, just for fun, we'll make this an output. So select your little interact uh, thing here for the function to start, and on outputs, do new. Uh, get rid of this red one. Just drag this over here. Drag the out hit onto that node. And then connect these. <coughs> Compile. Oh no. What? Oh right. Get rid of this. Compile. Save. And uh, another. Drag a new one in. I guess it was upset that there was no pin for it there, so you had to make a new one. Whatever. Unreal. Fine. And uh, off the out hit. So this is. What this is going to just to explain what this is doing when you press F, it's going to do a line trace in the world. Actually, let me just show you what it's going to do. Draw a debug type here. We're going to set persistent, compile, save. So go into the world, play. When we press F, it does this little line trace, a thousand units forward. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to set it up so that when we look at our radio, which we'll just drag one into the world here. so that when we look at it and hit F, um, it'll start playing its song. 
So go back to the event graph and off the out hit, we're going to do break hit results. And uh, for the hit actor, we're going to do does implement interface. And for the interface, we're going to get, um, oh god, what did I name it? Radio interface. Hold B and click to make a branch. And if it does implement this interface, then we're going to call toggle radio. And this should immediately work. Compile, save. So if I go up to this radio and hit F, it should play that sound. And you can stop the sound by rapidly hitting F. Alright, and that's how you make a radio that plays songs. Enjoy.